Good afternoon and welcome to the final new in box engine video series video which would make this number 10 and this one is when I started the thought process of having a new in box engine video series began almost a year ago when I was still in Florida and believe it or not this was one of the first engines that I purchased for that series and yet for some strange reason it ends up being the last one that I'm showing and it is by far I can't say one of my favorites. They're all my favorites. I love this engine. It's really awesome. So let me just show you what it is. Yes, it's a gold black box Sato engine from the 90s. It is the Sato FA80 Gold Knight engine. Now, this engine is really cool for a lot of reasons. It's a Gold Knight engine. It's a Sato engine. And other than that, it's really cool. But the box is not in the best of shape. And that's kind of an issue. So let's open it up and see the condition of this box. This is not original to the packaging, but oh, look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful engine. Oh my goodness. Just something about these gold night engines. Now, I think when I was flying back in, when I was flying, the only gold night engine I ever actually flew with, I'd owned several, but I only actually ever flew with was the one in the Sig Smith mini plane and that was a 50. I've had several of these that I've just run or displayed or looked at, but let's put this down and let's look at all of the contents of this box and see how complete it really is. I would know, because I bought many Sato engines in the 90s, obviously new in box because there was no internet, there was no, I mean, I could have bought them used at swap meets or whatever, but I didn't. Back then I was buying new engines, period. That's just how it was. So let's pull all this stuff out, and to me, this is really cool. So, here we've got this beautiful engine. I'm going to set it right here for now. This is the thing that's really cool, is, uh, let me look here. This is a Horizon Hobbies engine, but the instructions, which Horizon Hobby engine means, for those of you that don't know, Horizon Hobby became the exclusive distributor of Sato engines in the United States in 1991. Prior to that, Sato engines coming into the United States were not distributed by Horizon Hobby, nor did they have the diamond HH on the bottom lug. Now, I can attempt to show that to you. Whether it's going to show up or not on the camera, I don't know. I did have a picture or a drawing. I made a drawing of it and put it on a video many, many moons ago. If you've got a recent Sato engine look on the bottom lug, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, engines prior to 1991 entering the United States did not have that. But one of the things that they also changed really quickly was they changed the layout of the manual to a booklet form manual. This one does not have the booklet form manual. This is still the old style series engine which means this is probably really an early one that became, uh, came into the country right around 91-ish, 91-ish, I would say, because I would think by 92 they would have updated the manual to something a little bit better. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm feeling. So this is a really early engine. It's either 91, 92, I'm saying at minimum because of the paperwork. Uh, here, there's more paperwork that comes with it. This is interesting. Um, fuel, high quality two cycle fuel suggested previously. They are recommending a Hangar 9 or McCoy MC four cycle plug. How many of you have seen one of those lately? So that's an interesting little document. And here's our consumer warranty and repair policy. Horizon Service Center, uh, Champaign, Illinois. So, Here's our canister style exhaust, very nice. Here's the tools for disassembly, setting the valves, etc. And this, which is one of the things that's missing a lot from when you buy new in box engines from eBay or whatever, these types of things typically go bye-bye. Somebody takes them out of the box and throws them in their toolbox or something. So this one is complete. This comes with exactly everything that it should have come with. So this is a complete engine, new in box engine, despite the fact that the box is in 
pretty poor condition. I mean, it's just buttery smooth. It has the choke mechanism. And it's so black, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But bam, look at that gold. Oh, look at that. It is just such a work of art. Just beautiful. Anyway, that concludes the new in box engine video series. And I think I closed out this series with a really good engine. Now, the question will be, are you going to run this engine, David, or are you just going to let it sit and look beautiful? Even after it ran, it would sit and look beautiful. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Only time will tell. Thank you for watching.